Hello, well, I think the world's changing and I think it's best to get on and realise it. And I'm not talking politics here. I'm talking CAD, 3D design. As you know, I'm a great one for traditional woodworking and I think it's a great way of making some lovely things. Equally, I think one needs to look to the future and look at what people are using and there's more and more 3D printing, more and more CNC and more and more CAD work. So I thought it's about time I had a dabble with some CAD software. Now, I'm not particularly someone for techie stuff, but I think there comes a stage where if you don't, you will get left behind. And it's interesting, when you look around now, there are a lot of people using CAD, using software and using CNC machines. So what I'm doing in this film is taking a look at some CAD software and seeing what I can do with it. And I feel, you know, usually I put a film up and I know exactly what I'm doing and, you know, people can learn from me. This time, the learning will be, well, can someone like myself who hasn't used CAD software pick it up and start using it? Because I work on a basis, if I can, I'm sure you can. <laughs> I have got a little advantage, I'll be honest, in that my son has used it. So I know if I get totally stuck, I can turn to him, but I'm going to have a go on my own because I think by trying something yourself, you will learn. So what I have done so far, I have downloaded some free software called Fusion 360. And that's what I'm going to be using. It's completely free if you're either, you know, an educator in education or you want it for your like personal use. So let's get going and see if I can do anything at all with this. So this is the Autodesk Fusion 360 website and it says here free for students, enthusiasts, hobbyists and startups and basically you can download it, you get a 30 day trial but once you're there you can register and get a year used. I think it's a rolling year as well so you can keep renewing if you're a hobbyist or a startup. So that's great. It's a chance to have a go, have a play and see what one can do. <laughs> Scary stuff. So once downloaded and registered, clicking the icon, one's in. And um, so I really haven't a clue <laughs> what I'm doing, but that's the whole purpose really. It's just to have a play around and see. What I want to do is make a little um, box for holding type. So I felt that would be a good starting project. I have been watching um, various YouTube films. So if you just put in Fusion 360, um, some people are being very helpful and posting some good content to give one an idea. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a little play around here and see if I can produce a square and um, what sorts of things I can do. So I feel really it's only by trying these things that you're going to learn. And yeah, it's a bit scary. Um, it's like anything, isn't it? When you haven't done it before, you look at it and you think, well, I don't know what to do here. And that's how I'm feeling at this minute. But I'll have a little play around and see if I can come up with something. I'll report back shortly. Well, after a lot of experimenting and about five hours work, I have a drawing and this is actually a type case, going to be a type case holder. So I don't know if you saw the film where I was stamping in on leather using those cake plastic letters. Well, this will be a case for holding those letters. And I think it's worked out quite well, all in all. It has been quite a painful journey to get to this point. But um, what's quite good is that's the modeling. And then I notice you can go into what's called the cam settings and this is where you set up all the tooling and, and that's for actually machining it out. I did have a bit of help with that side of things. So I'll say a bit more. The very purpose of this film was to see could I take up something like Fusion 360 and start doing something with it. And I think the honest answer is Yes, but with quite a struggle. So I am lucky, as I say, I've got my son John here who has helped me with two or three things. I think if I didn't have that support, I would find it quite difficult. But I think actually there's so much good content on YouTube and actually even within Fusion 
360, there's some very good videos. I think the journey will just take that bit longer, but one would get there. It's a little bit like, to me, like sort of when you suddenly first get a smartphone and you have to get used to using that. It's one of those things, you just have to go in, you just have to get your hands dirty in effect and have a go at it. And I think when you've got used to actually learning stuff and being perhaps, you know, like me myself with woodwork and leather work, I'm pretty comfortable. I don't come across very much I'm unfamiliar with and I can just get on with it. It's quite hard to actually try something else and it's very easy to get put off. But I think if I didn't have you know, any support on this, I would have gone on through the Fusion videos, I would have gone on to YouTube. It would have taken me longer, but I would have learned quite a lot along the way. So I think provided one's prepared to put a bit of investment into it all, I think one can get there. And I know with myself, I can see huge potential for this for little projects and um, using them on things like the X-Carve. I think it's worth, you know, persisting with. So I'm certainly going to carry on trying to learn it and get better with it. And I think if it's, you know, something that perhaps interests you, I'd encourage you to have a play around as well. I mean, it's a bit like, you know, I don't play computer games, but I know with those, a lot of them take a bit of practice to get into and to get onto. And I think it's probably similar with this, really. It's a matter of you tinker with it, you learn. It's like a car engine, isn't it? You tinker with it and you learn. And it's the same sort of thing here. It won't happen overnight, but it is feasible. So that's really all I wanted to try on this film. It wasn't to show you how it works. I want to be quite clear on that. There's lots of excellent content already. It's really a matter of, can you pick it up, have a go with it? And I think the answer to that, from my perspective is, yeah, you can. Um, but it won't be instant, it will be a few goes at it and a bit of effort, but it is good, you get there. I think the software I would rate actually very highly. It's very intuitive and it is good stuff. The areas I needed help most on was actually importing things like the tool programming for using the X-Carve because that is actually different and I hadn't done anything like it before. The actual Fusion, it was pretty okay all in all. I struggled in places, but as I say, got there in the end. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>